Walmart, Walmart, you come here. Look at this power I have. Whoa, Are you kidding me? I have an announcement. See these earrings I have? If you followed me since last year, you would remember we, oh, no! You would remember that we were selling these rainbow earrings last year. And this year for Pride Month, I brought them back, but not limited edition this time. I'm gonna keep them around year round. So before you rush to buy it, just know that there's a certain amount of units because I can't infinitely buy earrings. Basically, I order them in batches. So if we sell this batch, I will bring the next batch around. So just stay updated on that. But if you want them, go get them. It's pixel art. It has a highlight. It's gold plated. I have the details of what the metal is in case you're allergic to certain ones. Remy, you're ruining the video. Come on, Remy, pay attention. See, Remy likes the earrings too, don't you? They're called rainbow heart earrings because in case people want it to be more discreet, hopefully that helps. I also have to make sure it describes what it actually is. I can't just say earrings. If you ordered merch from my store before, you know it comes in regular packaging. So hopefully that helps. Let me know if you have any questions in the comments, but just know you can buy these to support me. And they're cute. End of story. So hi friends, welcome back to another episode of what company has decided to be a victim of rainbow capitalism again. We've already done Target. That's a tradition at this point. <clears throat> Remy, your cat hair's everywhere. And I normally just group the rest of the companies into one video, but something about Walmart is so vast, so many options, all bad, that I decided we should dedicate one just for Walmart. I didn't buy the stuff. There's no Walmart nearby me. And also, I don't want to spend more money on Pride merch. <laughs> to reiterate, rainbow capitalism is when companies decide to take Pride Month. Oh look, the cops know too. And they try to turn it into a profit for mainly themselves by taking queer people's money. What's the problem with that? It doesn't benefit LGBT community because the designs are ugly, first of all. And also, these companies 90% of the time still donate to anti-LGBTQ organizations, politicians, lobbyists. You want to get political, you can go look it up. I'm pretty sure Walmart has donated almost a million dollars since 2021. And just to list a few others, here you go. So just note, take every pride collection with a grain of salt, besides like actual pride creators like me. So without further ado, get comfortable best as we can, because it's about to get nasty up in here. 274 options. <coughs> oh God. Oh, sorry, just the gaze releasing from my soul. Gay. Help me! By the way, this is, you know what flag it is. So let's just go through it. The bars in hell. So first up, love and sports, swim. This is actually pretty cute. I'll give you that much, but is it themed pride? Are these actually pride themed? No, so that doesn't count. You just put it in pride clothing, which is fine, but I wanna go for the ones that are like, you did this because of pride month. You didn't just happen to have a swimsuit that you're like, oh, it's fruity enough. Like this one. This is what I'm talking about. I swear they had this last year. Men's distressed rainbow flag. First of all, I think it's hella ironic that when we want to talk about pride and being like all encompassing, like of all different genders, whatever, we still categorize men and women. Just make unisex. I know that this is technically how you're supposed to hang the American flag vertically, but either way, I don't like how we do it. In what world do you take this and not just do that? Why would you flip it? That, that, that logically doesn't make sense, but like, like symbolically sure. Second of all, we have one, two, three, four, seven stripes that we can use. How did you not just do Roji Biv? In what world? How dumb do you have to be to make contrasting stripes? You have vertical stripes already and you chose to do horizontal flags. Next up. Oh, I guess we do know how to do vertical stripes. I can't even think straight. There's a thing with like tacky merch and when i say tacky i don't mean like it just is a rainbow I'm, i can handle rainbows y'all it's when you do a slogan or like some phrase that's like oh i'm gay what's new something stupid like that where no one really says it in real life unless the purpose is it's a joke like i don't think anyone would wear this being like yeah this is fashionable. Isn't this cool it's only to be funny i just can't see myself wearing this like more than once ever oh we have it in a different color. Oh, we have women's and men's, y'all. Look at that. I love my two moms. You know, the sentiment isn't bad. I appreciate that they actually have the stuff for like children's clothing. I like that idea. It just looks so gross to look at. The font feels like something from Dr. Seuss. That's not a compliment, by the way. No, you know what it looks like? The curly 
font, like the default one you have on Google. What's this one star rating? I want to see. Children don't need this kind of clothing. Sharing that they have to, well, stay disgusted, Laura. You took the time to review something on Walmart, you have your priority straight. Oh, my jokes. You know what Walmart would do? They would take that phrase, I don't even have my priority straight, and slap it on the t-shirt. This is what I'm talking about. What are you? It's like gonna make me tear up. What did hide and seek do to you? so that you had to turn it into a gay joke. For the centuries that queer people have suffered, if it takes you five seconds to make the design, no. I need at least a year of trying to design something unique, never done before. Talented, brilliant, incredible, amazing, show-stopping, spectacular, never the same, totally unique, completely not ever been done before. A kid could do this. A child could have done that. I don't even like children. Les is more. What does that even mean? Oh, they have it in a hot pink. I just don't... What is this supposed to mean? Remy, we can't shop at Walmart. It's too gross. Is it down? Okay. Next up, homosexualian. Still, what for what? Who says that? Who has ever said that? Is that in someone's bio? Is that in your bio? If so, take it off before I... <laughs> what? Like... I don't even care that like they chose to use alien in the idea that like gay people are alienated from society or I guess considered like weird and different and like an alien. I don't even care about that. It just looks gross. It's gray on white. I can't even see the design. Why don't you just make the alien green and be like stereotypical with it and then just make the planets and stars like rainbow colored. It's just so tired that we take the rainbow flag and we don't know how to manipulate it in any sort of way. Also, fun fact, the rainbow flag itself is not copyrighted, but the progress flag, if you want to use that, you do have to pay the person who made it. So if you never see any corporations bother to use the progress flag, it's probably because they were too lazy to ask and they didn't want to put a lot of effort in it. Oh my God, it's almost like Walmart didn't put a lot of effort. Fierce, no one says that anymore. I've never heard anyone say that in years. This, the stay fierce thing, I, Different time, Walmart. Also, you know, like, the fact that it's Golden Girls, like, it's not gonna be for Gen Z. Typically for, like, a more mature audience who has, like, taken the time to watch Golden Girls. Closets are for clothes. But there's so much wrong with it! There's so much wrong with it! This is pretty! I'm gonna try to break it down. First of all, we're using dark gray, one of the worst colors ever invented. I will stand by that. You don't mix gray and rainbow. Just don't. Don't do it. I'm literally looking at the battle between homophobes and queer people. We have a yellow hanger. We have a heart with a white outline and a rainbow inside of it, an actual rainbow. Then we have closets are for clothes. All of it is outlined in black. And then we have a rainbow going through that. What purpose does this serve? There's nothing wrong with being closeted. Most people don't want to be, but they have to. So like, I just don't, I just don't see like why anyone would want to wear it. Cause it just looks, uh, at this point, it just looks ugly. Okay, I'm sorry. This is the ugliest design I've seen in years for pride. The clashing, <laughs> like why is that yellow hanger? And this font, never again. You wanna know how to fix it? Delete it. Okay, get rid of it. This is fine, it's just boring. This one is straight up, get it, for the mask people. Like no femme person's gonna wear it. The font and just like the way it looks, it just feels so, <laughs> I feel like the people who wear this are like, I go to the gym and wear tank tops and that's all I am. And it's on an orange shirt. It's on an orange shirt. Just make it white. Okay, just make the font white and put on a black shirt. That's fine, that's it. Or make the t-shirt white. Just don't use color. Cause you already got a rainbow on it. Science is real. Black lives matter. No human is illegal. Love is love. Women's rights are human's rights. Kindness is everything. All true statements will give you that much. However, why is this all here? Pick a struggle, literally, pick one. You all should know, I'm not a big fan of text on shirts. I just don't think it's, it's not a universal language ever. Most of the time it's too busy. And no one's gonna bother reading all of it. Cause no one's gonna look at you that long when you're walking by them. Sounds gay, I'm in. Aside from the phrase, which makes me want to beat my face into a wall. Cause that is something people say when they just come out. There's like a phase, it's like you're, you're closeted, you don't want to come out yet, or you're just learning who you are. And then at that threshold, the moment you come out, it's either it becomes your whole personality or you still want to be like very down low about it because you're not in a great area to come out or your parents don't want to know. If you fall in line with it becomes your personality, and I don't mean like you just proud of it. There's nothing wrong with being proud and loud about being gay. What I mean is you use the word gay in all sentences 
that further the stereotypes of gay people. As in, hey, do you want to go shopping? Oh yeah, sounds gay, I'm in. What, in what world? The only time something sounds gay is if you're going to like a gay thing, like a drag bar or like a, you know? Every time I hear sounds gay, all I can think of is like, you sound gay, which we should also stop. And I'm talking specifically to y'all, like the people who are queer. You gotta stop assuming people's sexualities. It's not fun. You're not exempt from it. You're not better than them because you're doing the same thing that other people did to you when you were closeted. And yes, I will discuss that in another video, but basically I got some problems with y'all. Oh, it's on a reduced price. Maybe we should buy it. Another thing, the G in gay does not, like, it's too separated from the A. It looks like a C and a Q. Just do a regular G. Why do you gotta do that? I, no. What do you, what's the purpose? For what reason? Are you trying to be different? No. Disney, bye, I don't care about you. I already talked about Disney in my last video about Target, but to the people who still insist that Disney is like the front runner, the trailblazer for gay representation on TV, the standard is below Jesus at this point. Let me remind you, they canceled your favorite show, The Owl House, just because those two queer characters were too queer. They didn't let Turning Red show those queer characters because it would have been too much. All your favorite queer coded characters are villains. That's why we like them so much, isn't it? No, it's <sighs> true, it's true. In Eternals, which was, wasn't good. When I say the people want a queer character in Disney, I mean canonically show them kiss someone of the same sex or another queer person. Unconditionally, of course. Oh, what's the last thing? Oh, they're a lead. Not a side character, not someone who shows up for two episodes. And if you still want to fight me on this, I'll defend Disney when they stop donating to anti-LGBT politicians and bills and organizations. Thanks. Drop your fave. Okay, just drop it, drop them, okay? It's not happening. Lesbian, gay, bisexual, transgender, human. Okay, but what if someone is both? Like just, now they can't check both. I see these a lot like, yes, we are human. We do want to be seen as that, but it's overused at this point. I don't know if there's anything wrong with it. I just don't, I just see it everywhere. It's also turned into a meme. It's like, I like women, men, no. I like cats or something. Like it's just the third option is just the meme. This collection just feels like it's 20 years late. Like maybe back then, great, yeah. And there's people who are gonna say, y'all are so entitled, like we fought for this. We did not fight for pride clothing. No one fought for ugly designs. You think our elders wanted this? At the end of the day, we want to be seen and we want change. I don't wanna be seen if it looks like this. I don't wanna be seen in public with this either. Name one person who protested because they wanted to have pride clothing. I may be straight, but I don't hate. This has to be a line from Brandon Rogers. I refuse to believe it was not this character. Stop the outlines too. Like you don't need to outline something if it already has color inside of it. Disney pride tribe. None of those characters are, what? What about, what about it? What about it is a tribe? That's for Disney adults and you know it. It's okay to be different show elephants asses. Is there something symbolic about elephants I don't know? Is it because they're like really good with family or something? I know they can paint. Elephants are really smart. Unless you like elephants, I mean, go off. Pride. I will say, this isn't bad. I actually kind of wanted, cause I would, I would wear this. This is okay from them. I will give you that much. What I won't give you is this nasty, Madagascar stupid font. I hate this font. You use this font, you don't deserve to be a designer. Fonts that have lines inside of them. Let's talk about it. Why do you exist? What does it do? Is it because it looks like a zebra now? Whoa, great idea. Yeah, this is gross. This is really gross. Dare to be different? Nope, not anymore. Not after that. <laughs> What is this? I need an Advil. <laughs> okay. Love the fact that we talk about the gay marriage legalization thing. However, it's 2022. We don't care. We don't need to talk about this right now. They said yes, and it's about women's right, like the legalization for women to vote. That's like me wearing something about the Chinese Exclusion Act. Like, oh, they, they disbanded it. <laughs> I don't know. I just think it's... I think it's kind of weird. I mean, we do use 1969 because of Stonewall, but it's like, that wasn't because something passed. That was because it started a movement. I mean, there's some people who probably wear like an image of Donald Trump and it's like, he got in and it's the year. <laughs> I just can't, I just don't know. I don't know. Aside from the sentiment, it looks gross. You have a rainbow. You have the rainbow that says they said, yeah, go with the rainbow. Why do you do this? Don't make a meme out of that. Just why? Just like, please warp 
your flag a little bit. Stop trying to do horizontal and vertical only. You know what's worse? It even cuts to the June 26th. Like, right there. You see that? You could have just kept that white. There's no reason to have the rainbow there. You already have it on the hand, which is actually, like, the hand is cute. So, and, bye. You wear this? I'm ripping it off you. Sorry, I can't. I'm gay. This also just feels like something Brandon Rogers does. Like, the when he, when he had that guy who says, Move, I'm gay. This is the same thing. Come up with something new, Walmart. These shirts, like, stuff with text on them that are a phrase, it's very Tumblr. It's a lot of that era of, like, 2014 through 18. And we've jumped out of that era. So if I ever see this comeback, I will protest. Queens. Another Golden Girls thing? This is not even a bad design, actually. Like, this time, I'm fine with the font, fine with the way the colors work. What grip does Golden Girls have on y'all? You couldn't think of anyone else to put inside the box Queens? Maybe drag queens? Guess not, I mean, I don't know. Men's, gay pride, double venus, yellow tone, tungsten, wedding band ring. Is this a gay, is this for men's gay? I don't know. Doesn't look like the male sign to me, does it? Um, hmm. Um, I think that's for women, y'all. <laughs> oh, oh, we don't even have different options. It's only those two signs. Yeah, men where? Men who? Men how? Oh. My god, it's on rollback? What does that even mean? I'm just gonna- I don't- I can't think about it. I'm just gonna skip it. Love! That's it! I like how they don't even care enough about bisexual and trans people that they just like put them both on the V. Oh wait, it makes LGBT. Oh. LGBT. P? And also, another thing about this, I think we start to use the word gay as like the all-encompassing, you know, queer, which I know it can be, but like, does the rainbow flag mean gay? I thought it meant everything. So I thought they would use like the blue version, the, the MLM flag or something. Think that's more accurate? I don't know so much. Obviously like people can do whatever they want with their flag. I know some people don't care if they call them gay and they're not technically that. Like there's a lot of difference about that. I don't think it's the important thing we need to talk about. We need to talk about how gross this looks because it's on a gray shirt again. Just like keep it, just put it on a white shirt. Just put it on a white shirt or a black shirt. For the love of God. If you truly love us, Walmart, you would not do this. Not sure how accurate those colors are on the lesbian flag. I haven't... I thought it was more orange and pink. Actually, I know it's more orange and pink, and I also know that orange is the first color, so I don't know why it's inverted. Don't even know what it means to reverse a flag, but not accurate. Also, Target's lesbian flag was like the lipstick lesbian flag, which is controversial, so good on you, Target. Good job. You had queer designers do that too. Good job, y'all. This is what I mean when we say, don't be so sympathetic to... People just because they're queer they can make mistakes too yeah the V something is very off about it like why did you split them in half what is that implies something and it's not a good implication just don't do that you know what the best solution is we don't do this okay we don't combine flags because you won't get them all what is this font oh don't look at the feet stop you y'all are gross oh don't look at that y'all are gross what is this font why? There's seven pages of this I can't some people are gay get over it this is the Quinta Brunston meme People be gay. And it's on an orange shirt. It's, do you see how ugly the first two words look because it's on an orange shirt? That's why we don't do that. I just can't get behind someone who uses justified left and then proceeds to use two words in the middle. Are gay? Just no. Why? I have never even seen this flag. What is it? The straight ally flag. Oh, okay. Well, it just looks wrong. It just looks weird on the shirt. I don't know if that works. Disney pride. There's your trans flag for you. You're represented by Disney only. Just a reminder, Disney does not care about y'all. Y'all means all. Okay, I'm just not... End the video. You know what? I am done. I'm, I'm done. Why? If you want to give children... This is a children's shirt. If you want to give children good queer clothes or like prideful clothes don't make it look so ugly that they're gonna get bullied for it being ugly in school like you know a kid's gonna go haha look at your dumb ass shirt they're probably not gonna say that but children are unhinged i don't know i'm not giving my child this they deserve better than this i wouldn't even put it on my cat this was here last year too i'm pretty sure pride it's in my DNA. We got the same font again, that disgusting caps, and then we have the outline we didn't need. And like, yeah, there's the debate of whether it's genetic or not. You don't need to say it's genetic to prove a point. I genuinely think there's a lot of factors that go into it. You can't just go like, mm, oh, found that gene, you're a bottom. But it's still ugly to begin with. Like, it's just, I can't even read the thing under it. It's so tiny. Is this the same thing? Is this the same phrase? This looks like word art. Uh, do y'all even know what word art is? Uh, for those who don't, it's the best we could have done as children when we were designing in Microsoft Word. Designing. I know, Remy. You're disappointed too. Human! Why does it look like it went through a fight for 
two hours. Like, why do I want to look beat up? Is it because you want to beat me up? Is that why? We have another pride. Just say Paul Ryan or something. I'm sorry, I'm allergic to that shirt. <laughs> that one too. Just... <laughs> Oh my god, I can't cry. No. Oh my god, we're just. I just zoomed in. <laughs> I look like my dad on my face. One minute tangent. I used to make fun of my dad and I would call him like lightning nose in Chinese because every time he sneezed, it sounded like thunder, which, you know, didn't make sense. You know, lightning doesn't make a noise, but I didn't realize that I would turn into my dad and have the same the same sneeze as him. It's just so loud and obnoxious. You know what, and that's okay because it's a natural reaction. It's just that one frame, that one freeze frame I got. <laughs> I can't. Okay, that's it. Subscribe, by the way, if you haven't. This is, again, like, distressed. Why do I want to look like I'm going through shit? No hate in my state, false. All hate in all states. There you go. Made in the 90s. This this proves my point. This was for older people. And again, what is going on? What is it doing? Why is it glitch? Like, just don't. No. Oh, here we go. Here we go. This is my jam. <laughs> Isn't that supposed to be... What? What is going on? Wait, what happened to the H? Why is the black gone? They gave up. They said, you know what? You don't even get to fill out your whole letter. This isn't bad. Is it good? No, it's just not good. Like, it looks like I got run over by a truck and that's why my shirt is distressed. I hate distressed text, like, no. It's gonna do that already in the wash. Let it happen naturally. You know what? This is cute. I feel like we always see this though. Like, it's always a gate. It's always a T-Rex. What about a Stegosaurus? I want an Ankylosaurus. Those are better. Who cares about a T-Rex? With your tiny arms, useless. Sorry, is this a RuPaul backpack? Hello? Okay. Not mad at that. This is the third. This is the third shirt we've seen about cats, y'all. How's it feel to have more of a representation for cats during Pride Month than your own sexuality? Choose equality. No, choose a scoop. Choose a scoop. My sinuses are acting up because this stuff is. <laughs> I didn't know this is possible. We decided to show up finally. Stay with me. Stay with mommy. Walmart. Walmart. You come here. If I see you. Use another rainbow flag, and you don't bother putting it in the graphics. I won't shop there anymore. I haven't shopped there in a while. <laughs> stop it. Just stop. You need to learn that you can use the flag in different ways. Oh my god, look, it's your favorite Disney character, Ursula. A queer-coded villain. Mm -hmm. Oh wait. Oh wait, this actually- This- This! Give me more of that. I wanna see the reviews. Oh, these are actually, like, legit reviews. These- <laughs> These people actually have opinions on these reviews, never mind. They're like, it's too small for an adult. What is with Deadpool- What- What does the Deadpool community have on queer people? Like, I never watched it. Is he gay? Or something? Do I- Is there something I don't know? Why are there so many Disney things? For what? Just for Disney adults. They're like, oh, I'm being such a good ally by wearing the shirt! Oh, there's a transgender symbol. That- You know what? That's actually nice. I will take- the accessories. They're not bad, actually. I love these. These bags are great. Unironically, these are better. Like, once again, there's a rainbow group. Why? Barbie made a pride shirt. Okay, I will talk about it again, like, when we do more companies. Barbie? I saw a TikTok ad of them talking about being prideful. They really... They did something with that. I'm gay, and it's okay. New York. Three leaf clovers. <laughs> what? Like, what? I need to know. I need to know. What does Deadpool have? There's another version. There's another version of Closets Are For Clothes, and it looks like someone used chalk for it. I mean, look at the pins. Like, they're actually better. Remy, don't leave. They're actually doing something with the pins. Everything else is gross. Be who you are. You had to use that font. You had to ruin it with, like, the varsity. Oh, Remy? Remy. Okay, you're on to deal with that. Football text. Sure. Yeah. We want that. Okay, we're on page six. It's almost done, y'all. It's almost done. We're almost there. I can't even consider Barbie in this because, like, it's not Walmart. That's Mattel. I love my moms. I'll take it. I will take this. It's fine. You know why it's better? They don't overdo it. You cannot- This is already prideful enough. You don't need to slap the rainbow on it again. Let's see how much better it looks when it's gray and white and not gray and rainbow. You are not alone. You sure? Because I know half of y'all are single. But that's none of my business. This last page was all Disney stuff. And I just have to say, what do they have on y'all? To the Disney adults out there, stop! Okay, just stop! We're done. 
we got it through it. I survived. It wasn't even better this year. It just got more confusing. It was just filled with Disney this time. So yeah, that was Walmart's Pride. I can't even speak. That was Walmart's Pride. I'm just so gobsmacked. That was Walmart's Pride collection. Final thoughts? No. No, no, no. Never will, probably. Walmart just isn't known for like the fashion experts. They're stuck in like 2000 somehow. Not the good stuff from that year either. So let me know what y'all think. Let me know if you would buy anything and what I should roast next. What companies are so offensively bad that you need to, you, we need it to be known to the public. I also noticed not a lot of companies that pride logos this year. So like I'm out of a job. What am I going to review now? You know, look, look, they're mad too. But that's all I have for you today. So if you enjoyed, give it a like, leave a comment down below about what you want to see for Pride videos. And as always, subscribe because I post every week. Follow my socials. I've been streaming more again. I set up my Wi-Fi. I did it. I did it. And follow me on TikTok, Instagram, and everywhere else just because I post a lot more makeup and stuff like this on there. As always, I love you all and everything is less than three. Kitties, stop fighting. Stop. Hey.